Good day, good day. Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano. How the hunk are ya? <laughs> All right, what do we got before us today? Well, um, I'm gonna say this is a bur burrago. Yeah. Bubba Burrago. That's, I think they, they like to put the two B's on it, but I, I believe the proper English way of saying it is Burrago. But correct me, please correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> so, what we're going to look at today is the Burrago 143rd scale model metal kits. And I've got a few of them, as you see. And uh, this is about what I've got. I might have a couple more kits laying around here and there. But um, I believe I got these from Walmart quite a ways, quite a ways back. Uh, I don't know if that's the date on there or not. But uh, they were blowing them out for a buck fifty, and of course I was buying them all up. There are a few more uh, cars in this collection that uh, they got there in Walmart. But uh, obviously, I picked up all the Land Rover kits that I could. Uh, one of my favorites is uh, this Land Rover. This is the, uh, well, it'd be a Series 3, it looks like. And uh, what, the one, the 109, wouldn't it be? Station Wagon, yeah. But uh, if you're not familiar with uh, Burgo, they're uh, made, quality made in Italy. And... Um, they're right off the bat. I'm going to tell you there's quite a different ways that you can get a hold of these particular models. Um, let me try to explain. <laughs> so we're going to look at the uh, model kits that I've got. All right. And um, then we're going to take a look at some other things that are kind of unique. These are a couple I've had. I had a couple of uh, these, quite a few of these, and I uh, was playing around with, I believe that's uh, uh, just a regular, um, what the guys like to use, Sharpies, yes, regular Sharpies, did some detailing, nothing much, uh, this is kind of, I, I don't even know, I think I bought this used, matter of fact, uh, it's kind of all chipped up and stuff, so I was kind of just doing some detailing on it. But as they come out of the kit, this is what it looks like when it comes out of the kit. Uh, they are rubber tires. You have to put those together to the chrome uh, wheels, which uh, for Land Rover, uh, especially this, uh, <laughs> they never did come with chrome wheels from the factory. But uh, pretty good detail. It's got the uh, vent uh, here, which uh, kind of is the uh, the safari roof kind of vents there is kind of showing, but not really showing. But pretty good details. I mean, it's got the rivets down the sides there. You know, you got the door handles. You got the uh, heater vent there on the side. Um, I don't know. They don't really. Uh, did they even have steering wheels in them? I don't think they did. No. At least this one doesn't have one in it. Huh. Well, anyway, they got some interior in there, bench seat and stuff like that. Uh, let's take a look at the base. Pretty basic. Uh, now, the box says 143rd, and this says 147th, so I'm not really sure uh, what's going on there. That's a, it's an Italian thing. Burrago. Burrago. <laughs> there, there, I don't, like, there you go, but Burrago? <laughs> But anyway, just a be beautiful, nice model. I like these. Um, I've wanted to do more with them since I had so many of these, you know. Um, the, the other thing is with this uh, Burrago, you can buy them already put together as well. It, uh, not in kits. It's the same vehicle. But they're already put together. Now this one, as you see, you can put these uh, decals and everything on it, on your kit. But you see the wheels are definitely uh, chrome. It's the Trans-American Tour. You know, you get the decos in there, the decals. But this one was done at the factory, I believe. Now the, the headlights are a little bit different. Uh, maybe crisper, cleaner, I don't know. 
but uh, this is it comes with the plastic wheels they're already assembled on there uh, and I I bought this one off eBay just like this uh, I believe I got it off eBay but uh, yeah it's all done up but it has the regular wheels and I believe that, that this one was um, they came in a box similar to this but they were already um, assembled so that that is the uh, uh, you know, there's only one other variation that I saw this one, and I think it's, yeah, it's in a kit, uh, or it's already assembled in, in a shadow box with a window, and it's brown. Same livery and everything, but it's brown, and it's not a kit. It's got these uh, different wheels on it, so there you go. Other than that, uh, let's take a look at the Freelander. They did happen to have at Walmart there, my local Walmart, I didn't go too far for these. They had a nice, uh, I don't know if you could really see that nice metallic blue one. Um, that's kind of neat. Then they had a uh, regular uh, blue, uh, just a regular enamel blue. Uh, so that's kind of that's kind of neat. And then they also had the red, which is kind of the common of them all. And we'll just take a look at the boxing here. Uh, just kind of really, just kind of neat. This is kind of one of my favorite models. I, um, I've got a, a few of them. I'd like to do some customs and some works with it. But uh, in the box, they're still pretty, pretty neat. So let's just do that. Let's just take a look at the model. Once again, the kits all came with these chrome head... Uh, hubcap looking things uh, now this one does I think the, the that top does come off on the back there just kind of whoa just kind of snaps right off there whoa cheese ball scared me there for a minute but this one's got a little bit more detail got a steering wheel in there uh, nice headrests up on the seats there very nice opaque uh, sunroof but cool nice load area there uh, the seats kind of do move a little bit you know but uh, full size spare tire with the uh, third brake light there that's from uh, the Americans uh, it's a two-piece top actually though the window glass that's got the uh, you know defrost veins through there and then the regular plastic black plastic um, that goes on there see if I can put this together without uh, getting cheese balls all over the place okay there we go we made her all right uh, gas filler cap there doesn't really have uh, any detail this is from the model so this is just straight from the box you know built uh, I believe it has decals and stuff like that that you can you know license plate and stuff like that um, glass uh, inserts the plastic clear headlight inserts there um, it, it is a closed cabin uh, except for the rear that does open with all the windows are up and that uh, let's take a look now this one does say 143rd scale made in Italy Freelander I always like that font of Freelander I always like that uh, so there you go nice pretty nice model not too uh, bad uh, you know the hood kind of is a little off but well the wheels I think are really what gives it off because <laughs> <laughs> those are kind of like little bicycle wheels on there uh you know a little bit better scale for this one you know still uh not the best but uh this one here model it kind of looks a little maybe that's why it's so uh, anyway we'll have to fix that someday <laughs> the next model that we're going to look at at the uh Burgo 143rd scale uh, metal kit is the Range Rover. Now, I did have, I thought, quite a few of these. Uh, maybe they're packed away. I've got a, some displayed, a, one of each of displayed, uh, especially the, the colors of the Freelander and a couple of these. But uh, they did a Range Rover as well. Yes. Pretty snazzy. Now, this one, um, I... I don't have right here with me uh, built maybe I don't have that many of them um, but I did find one that um, well here this is one that was already built I'm not really sure where I found this one at I think this one came from eBay again same thing it's the kit it's all the parts from the kit 
but it has these wheels. It doesn't come with the two-piece rubber wheels. Now this is a little bit different um, rims or uh, wheels, but the same rubber tires with that uh, as the other kits. So this is a nice green one. Pretty, pretty nice. Uh, like I say, I think this is um, from a um, displayed model already put together. This isn't from a kit. Um, I do have but it, it's pretty nice. I mean, you could put a, you know, license plate over that black part. That black part is a pin to keep everything together. Uh, you could do some little uh, background work. See, that one's broke there on that side. Uh, but, you know, clear headlights, you can do some work with. Uh, decal on the front. But that's about it for decals. They really didn't do anything else as far as that. And then just the plastic regular plastic wheels. Now I do have one of the kit models uh, of this that I was kind of working on. <laughs> yeah, I stripped it all down. Um, as you notice, they did have sunroofs in it. And so I was uh, working on uh, cutting out the sunroof so I could customize mine. I was working on trying to get some wheels uh, to work in mine, but uh, I had all all of it stripped down so I could repaint it and everything from the kit and uh, but I believe I found this in the wild kind of all beat up and everything so I said well uh, let's uh, do a kind of a little resto on it so that's where I ended up uh, and this is as far as I got <laughs> but uh, as you see that's a uh, 143rd scale uh, pretty pretty interesting now they, they see Burgo they uh, Burgo, they did all right with their uh, underneath uh, axles and transax trans case and the pumpkins off to the side. I know the first series, which this would be the first series Range Rover, they were off to the side there. So pretty good detailing there. This one, I you know, I couldn't really tell you too much about the Freelander, uh, but I, I think that's about right. It's all wheel drive. I know that. Let's see, what, what did they do here? Oh, oh, okay, that, all right, moving right along. <laughs> all right, well, there you go, folks. If you have uh, some of these, let me know. Uh, is this kind of, I think these are kind of oddballs to find here in the States, but, uh, you know, they're fun. They're, they're model kits. I collect anything and everything, even model kits. So, uh, yeah, I love them. They, they do, this seems to be the most popular one that I see on eBay and things like that, whether it's in the kit or uh, by itself. Um, not too many of the brown ones, as I said, but let me know. Hey, get a hold of me on Instagram at Roverland Channel or on Facebook at Roverland. Let me know what you got. Comment below on uh, what you think about this. Now, I've got more uh, Burgos, uh, different scales, and things like that. So I just wanted to do this kit, the 134th kit uh, right here, and these uh, models that you could buy. All right, I'm going to call it a, a video here. Thanks for joining me today. And remember, join me on Instagram, Roverland Channel, and on Facebook at Roverland. And remember, kids, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.